Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So I've noticed that a couple of YouTubers have been talking about YouTube demonetizing their videos. And this is a topic that I talked about a couple of weeks ago uh, because I've been receiving quite a few notices from YouTube. I received a lot of emails from YouTube saying that my videos are not advertiser friendly. And that for that reason, they are being demonetized. And then after I posted my video, recently I saw a video from CNN where they were talking about this whole policy, just indicating that some of YouTube's advertisers have been complaining to YouTube about the content of a lot of these videos that their advertisements are featured on. They're concerned with their brand and their products being associated with certain types of video content and so in response to that and in an effort to please these corporations youtube has really been cracking down making sure that videos are quote unquote advertiser friendly so i think that that is really the motivation and when i posted my first video i wasn't aware of this issue but i, I really think that this is really what's driving this because as you all know youtube receives most of their revenue through these advertisements because as you know um, it doesn't cost anything for someone to set up a youtube channel it doesn't cost anything for someone to subscribe to channels and stuff like that so they primarily rely on these corporations for um funding and support they rely on these ads and i think that really this is an indirect way of YouTube and these advertisers trying to shape the content on YouTube. So I just want to address this in a couple of ways. The first thing that I'll say is this. Don't let YouTube intimidate you. Don't let YouTube dictate what you're going to put on your channel. You know, don't compromise your message. And as you all know, when I do these videos, I say I speak truth to power without fear because I believe in every word that I utter on here. I'm willing to sacrifice for my beliefs. In all kinds of ways, I'm willing to sacrifice. And you losing a few YouTube dollars or some AdSense dollars is just one form of sacrifice that I'm willing to, to make. I will not allow YouTube to compromise my integrity or my message. So my content will remain the same regardless. So that's one thing that I want to say. And we understand that YouTube is a private forum. This is not the government. So when it comes to the government, the government cannot regulate your speech or um, deny you freedom of speech and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to a private forum like YouTube, they can establish rules. They can establish what's so-called advertiser friendly and all that kind of stuff. But the problem is this. I mean, YouTube is inconsistent in their application and the way they apply these rules. Because I see all kinds of inconsistencies. I will see people post all kinds of offensive content, but I see ads running through that content. They can have content that's racist. They can have content that's misogynistic. They can have content that's obscene and sexually explicit and actually violent content. Videos of people being decapitated and all kinds of things. But yet YouTube, for some reason, allows those people to continue to have ads posted on their content. And I think a lot of it goes into the subscribers and all that kind of stuff, the number of subscribers and all that kind of stuff. So there's inconsistency and that's deeply problematic. And the only thing that I would recommend that people do, you know, I don't recommend that you change your content or that you water down your message or anything like that. But I do recommend that people understand that this is a game and YouTube, they don't have individual people actually watching all these videos to determine whether or not content is advertiser friendly or not. 
what they do is they probably use some kind of alg algorithm, you know, some kind of computer program to just search for certain tag titles. You know, they probably search for certain words in titles to videos and in the description box and in the, the tag section. They probably just look for certain words. And when they find those words, they automatically flag a lot of those videos. So I just recommend that people change their tags and they change their titles. They become more creative with their titles, as another YouTuber was pointing out that I was watching this morning. We just got to get ahead of the game. As long as we're going to be in this form of YouTube, we have to get ahead of the game and just manipulate the system to serve our interests. So we need to change up our titles. And, you know, obviously YouTube looks out for words like terror, terrorism. They look out for words like kill or killing. They look out for words like rape and sex. And they look for probably obscen obscenities like, you know, and profanity. So I recommend that people just simply avoid using certain kind of words. And I've noticed that some big YouTubers, what they'll do is they'll change some of the characters in the titles and in the description boxes so that YouTube's algorithm won't pick up on those words. So that YouTube won't automatically flag a video uh, because it contains a certain kind of word in it. And really, I just think that a lot of that you know, their algorithm is weak. It's not sufficient because you have news content that you cannot talk about without using some of these these red button words that they are looking out for. But yet, I mean, like if CNN does a story about some violence that has happened, I doubt that YouTube is flagging those videos as not being advertiser friendly because these news networks, they talk about violence all the time, but yet advertisers are on those news networks, whether they're on YouTube or on television, it's not an issue for these advertisers. It's not. And it's just another example of the inconsistencies. But the bottom line is this. I mean, we just got to get ahead of the game in terms of like changing these titles and these tags so that YouTube won't try to milk us out of our advertising dollars. Because as I said in my prior video, time is priceless. The amount of time that we spend on this video, these videos is valuable. And we have every right to demand that we be entitled to the advertising dollars that other YouTubers are entitled to. And, you know, I just think that that's fundamentally right for us to, have, to demand that we have the same advertising dollars that other people have because YouTube is making a boatload of money off of us. We're only getting a small fraction of, of the money that YouTube is making off of us. So, you know, I, I refuse to let let YouTube get over on me, you know, by trying to, you know, cut me out of advertising dollars, you know. So in addition to changing these titles and these tags, also what we have to do is fight these these notices that we receive. When we receive notices from YouTube saying that our content is not advertiser friendly, we need to challenge it every time, every time. Because our content is advertiser friendly. And if an average, I mean, and as another person pointed out, it should go both ways. Like if we have, if they have the right to say, well, this is not advertiser friendly, we should have the right to say, well, I don't want this particular company advertising on my channel. Like if there's a company that, you know, that supports war, for instance, or some political ad for some political party that I, I'm strongly opposed or some ad that's in support of Zionist um, agenda and all that kind of stuff. I should have the right as a YouTuber to say, I don't want that ad running on my content. So it shouldn't be a one way street because without us, without the YouTubers putting up videos, YouTube would not make money. So we should have some kind of say so in terms of what is advertised on our channels.
It should be a two-way street. And, you know, the last thing I'll say is this, is ultimately, Black people, we need to have our own form to create our own content on. Because as long as we are here on YouTube, we're subjected to their rules and regulations. We need to create our own so that we can create our own rules and regulations to serve our own interests. But don't let these, you know, I'm going to close out with this. Don't let these people intimidate you or punk you out into changing up your content, watering it down to be more advertiser friendly, because essentially all that amounts to is selling out. That's just another word for selling out. You should be motivated by your passion for the issues, not your passion for the dollars. And that's my motivation. So those are my thoughts on this. Tell me what y'all think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.